Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Gonna do a quick repost of another video that I did a few weeks ago. I'm doing these reposts because I wanna make sure that my new subscribers, A, have seen the videos before I go on to my next phase of videos that I'm gonna be doing. A way to change your location from one country to another, to be able to change your Netflix from one country to another, to get a whole new slew of content available to you. There's a lot of apps that are only available in certain countries, and I'm gonna show you how to get those apps no matter where you are in the world so I'm gonna go ahead and repost a video I did a few weeks ago guys if you already seen this video thanks again for supporting our channel and watching our videos you don't need to watch it if you've already watched it it's how to install a VPN on your Amazon fire stick thanks for your support guys give it a thumbs up if you like the video and check it out Today we're going to show you how you can install a VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick. Now these VPNs will also work on your laptops, tablets, and your phones, your smartphones. So these VPNs are fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and show you the full installation of just one VPN so you can see what it takes to get a VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick. Make sure you stay to the end of the video guys because I'm going to show you how you have an opportunity to win a brand new free Fire Stick. 4K. So stay to the end of the video for instructions on how to do that. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started here. So I am using just a regular cheapo Fire Stick second gen. So I am not using the 4K and I'm not using the Cube because all my high-end devices are already connected to a paid VPN. But I'm just gonna show you how to get a VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just register for a free VPN without giving an email address or anything, just to get you something on your Fire Stick. And if you like the service and you find that the service is speed-wise up to what you wanna do, then this is probably one you might want to consider. So let's get right into it. So how do you get a VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick? First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to your Hourglass. Go down here and you can just type in VPN. It will show you a list of VPNs. So let's do that right now. Just type in VPN. All right, now that you have your VPNs, you can go through here and you can see all of these VPNs. So let's go ahead and pick one. There are so many to choose from. Which one do you pick? Well, I've actually done other videos that you can check out. Uh, if you click our name and then go to the top and click videos, you'll see I actually reviewed quite a few of these in different videos. Um, I did the Hide Me one. I've done Winscribe. Let's go ahead and do Winscribe right now. So just for examples, let's do this one right here. So go ahead and just click on that. And guys, it's just a good way to get a VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick. You should have one on there no matter what, okay? So let's go ahead and get it. And it will just take a few seconds to get it on your Fire Stick. And once you get it on your Fire Stick, the setup process is so easy, you will not believe it. With this particular one, you get 10 gigabytes of bandwidth completely free. It's unlimited if you go ahead and pay for their service, which is very affordable. Or you can just get two gigabytes if you don't even want to give an email address. Since this is a temporary installation I'm doing just to show you how to do it, I'm just going to do the two gigabyte one, and then I'm going to show you how to turn it on, how to select different locations. So we'll do that here in just a second. It is installing. I am not hardwired on this particular stick, and it is in the furthest room from the <clears throat> router so you can get an idea of the possible speed that you'll have to encounter. So here it goes. It opens up fairly quickly once you've installed it, as you can see right here. So let's get to it. All right, so there you go. Very basic first sight. So what you're going to want to do is sign up. To sign up, go ahead and just make up a regular username. So All right, now hit sign up, and it should take you to the process here. Oh, somebody's already used it. So let's just go ahead and just add a few numbers here to the end. I doubt anybody has done mine. Okay, so go ahead and sign up. All right, now what it's doing now is it's finding the best location for you so you can get the fastest speed here. All right, it says here, would you like to provide your email address, and they'll give you 10 gigabytes for it. I'm gonna say no, let's go ahead and skip. 
All right, I don't need it because I'm not going to keep this on here. All right, at my current location, the very best one is the DOGG. Uh, it is disconnected right now, but it shows you how to do the setup process. You have two gigabytes free, and of course you can upgrade it anytime just by heading, hitting that button right there. But we're just gonna turn it on right now. We're gonna just, we don't need to set anything up. We're not gonna change our location or anything, which you can see down below. We're just gonna turn our VPN, e VPN on. All right, it wants to set up a VP connection. You're going to say, okay. And it will go ahead and connect. Now what it's doing, if you don't know what a VPN is, watch our other videos. What it is doing is making you completely private, okay? It is, it is basically giving you the utmost anonymity that you could possibly want. So when you're browsing things, watching things, nobody's watching you. All right, so there we are connected. Now you can just go down to the, just hit the home button once you've connected. All you have to do is hit the home button on your remote. All right, we went to the home page here, and as you can see, you've got Winscribe oops, right here, right down here, you, you have it. So let's open it up and make sure that it is running, and sure enough, it is still connected, giving you the privacy. Still have two gigabytes left because we haven't done anything yet, so let's do something and see how that is affected. So let's go to internet, and let's just go ahead and stream a sporting event today. So uh, it's football right now, so let's click the football. And uh, if you want to know about this site, I have other videos. Check out my other videos, and you can see how to get to these sites. There's some great sites out there, completely free. So let's find a game, a game that is fairly well known. Uh, here we go, Virginia Tech and Notre Dame. There's tons of streams probably for this one. Uh, let me see really quick what streams are available. Probably quite a few. So let's see here. We've got five per screen, so we've got... Yeah, there are tons and tons, as I can see right here, of streams on here. So I could just go on and on. Let's try the first one. Let's just go with the first one. I have not used this site much, but I know some of my subscribers have recommended it. It's called Crack Streams. A lot of people have recommended the Grandma Streams as well, but let's just do the first one. I know there is uh, an ad, but I'm not worried about it because I have a pop-up blocker on here, an ad blocker, so I don't have to worry about it. Obviously, most of my subscribers have one as well. I highly re recommend it. A little off on the screen here. Let me fix that. There we go. Line that up just a little bit. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and go down to the game here. So just scrolling down, should be a little play button. Let's see what the speed's like with a VPN. Probably have to turn the volume down on this thing so I don't hit any copyright issues. There we go. Went ahead and turned the volume down, and there is the game. I'm going to go ahead and pull right off of the game. I don't want to get in trouble. So I went ahead and pulled off the game, but you can see it does play perfectly fine. And I know there's a lot of people worried about compatibility with their VPN, so let's open it up. And sure enough, it is still connected, so it did, dis it did not disconnect you. I just played a very short portion, so you can see at the top it shows what you have left, 1.99 gigabytes. Now, if you're just using your Fire Stick for regular stuff, you do not need. You can just turn off your VPN. But if you're doing it to stream sports or anything on the internet, or if you're using it for certain APKs that are getting you movies or TV shows, you're probably going to want your VPN for that. So two gigabytes doesn't seem like much. If you give them your email address, you get 10 gigabytes. And that's actually quite a bit, a lot more than you think it is. Uh, but if you like the service and you find that the speed is acceptable, then you can upgrade to a... Uh, a paid service here and this one is called Winscribe. There's a ton out there. You can change locations down below. This one is compatible with Netflix so you can actually change Netflix locations. If you have a paid service like uh, I don't know YouTube TV for example and you're out of region so if you travel a lot you can change the location. If your team is playing in New York and you're in LA you can change that location. You can do a lot with a VPN and just wanted to share this with you on how to install the VPN on your Amazon Fire Stack. I hope this helped you guys out. Now, before we finish this video, I promised you there was a way that you could win a Fire Stick. All you need to do, guys, for a chance to win the Fire Stick at the end of every month on a video that gets 1,000 likes. So if this video gets 1,000 likes at the end of that month that it hits 1,000 likes, I'm going to be doing a drawing. The only thing you need to do to be entered is hit that thumbs up on this video 
comment down below and just say something nice about the video, something you learned about my video or a question you have about my video, anything like that. If you hit the thumbs up and you comment down below, make sure you're subscribed so you're notified when I do my drawings. But if you do those things, then you'll be entered automatically into my drawing. I've given away three, four, five, six different fire sticks, one fire TV cube so far, and I'm gonna give away more and more and more, and I wanna do that. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up, comment down below. I hope, really hope this helped you guys out, helped you install a VPN on your fire stick. I highly recommend it. Every one of my fire sticks has a VPN, and I hope you get one too. Thanks for watching.